Hello Possums Hardcore Castle. We are getting close to the end of the main castle itself. Now I've been doing a lot more ploughing. I've added an extra 50 chunks, which I'm quite pleased with. But we're not ploughing today. Today we are going to work on this. We are going to turn our little temporary wooden gate and stubby towers into something that looks more like this. That's the main gate to the medieval city of Carcassonne down in the south of France. I took that about 20 years ago, but I can guarantee it hasn't changed much because it hasn't changed much since the 1200s. So I've got an inventory full of stone and I am ready to get building. I'm almost out of stone. I'm going to have to head over to the quarry. Oh. Ah. That's a ravine. Hmm. I shall have to be very careful. Oh, this is all I need. Although this is a good demonstration of a medieval mine, if you found caves or old mines that were off your mine, you did exploit them. Which means, I wonder why there's light down there, I am going to have to go down and um, have a look. I'd better get back to building. So there we are, a few seconds of watch time for you guys, hours upon hours of work and resource gathering for me. That's the way it goes. But I just want to show you this. The well is now resolved. Big thank you to viewer Spoon for suggesting the grindstone. As Soon as he said it, I did actually face palm. That's the obvious solution and look how much better that looks. So thank you Spoon. And this is now 60 meters deep. You can't see down there. That was the average depth of a well in medieval times, although you get ones that are two and even three times as deep. But 60 will do. And you'll notice the doors to the Great Hall are now shut. I had lots of pigs and chickens in here. I now have one chicken and one pig. Two chickens. Oh, I've got two chickens and one pig because all the others walked in and cooked themselves on the fire in the Great Hall. Well done, guys. <laughs> the gatehouse. I'm going to run through to the front. This here is, they're just holding blocks because I'm still getting pillager scouting parties. Oh, have you got anything new? Nothing of interest. Okay, so we're going to run down here. Now, I do want to put some sort of symbol or statue, something built into the wall here. I'm just working out what... But this is our gatehouse. When I get the outer curtain wall done and probably a barbican, then I will have open gates up there. But in the meantime, no. As I said, I'm still getting pillager scouting parties. So you come up, there'll be an extra gatehouse here and there'll be a stone ramp here. We come up, uh -huh. we come through, yes, we come through the first gates which open outwards. Uh -huh because it's harder to break down gates if you're bashing it against the way it opens. Now, I want you to pretend that there's big metal brackets here and here because when these gates shut, stop it. This is a big drawbar and it comes across, loops through the metal brackets on the back. The end pushes into this niche and that essentially bars the door. Then we've got portcullises, they come down. We've got another gate that's coming in. Well, we've got another portcullis here, and then we've got this gate, and I've put a wicket gate in it. They should all have little wicket gates. Um, it will be open. It'll open inwards like this one. And again, we've got a drawbar. And then we have 
a third portcullis and another gate. And if you have a look, we've got arrow loops there and here. And if you look up, we've got murder holes. So let's say someone manages to break into here. We can put the portcullis down. They're stuck. We can fire arrows at them. We can drop things on them. And if they manage to fight their way through to here, same problem. Arrows, murder holes, portcullis, gates. So let's go in. I haven't done anything much in here at all yet. But we've got, this goes up to the arrow loops. And yes, they're raised up a little bit so that we can fire down, but it's harder for people to fire up and get us. So here's our drawbar with its supports. We come through here. We've got a sort of guards room and that's down into the arrow loops. And then if we come up here, right, we've got another guards room. We've got, oh, oh, I need to put Mm, okay, I've, I've got some blocks missing here. I need to put some stone bricks to fill those gaps. And I need some stone brick stairs in there to make arrow loops. I'll have to remember to do that. Another little room here. I'll work out what these are for. But if we come into here, we've got the murder holes. The portcullis is raised at the moment, but these would drop down so we'd have easy egress straight the way across for any defenders. And if we come here, we've got a barrel of rocks ready to go. I want to put a cauldron up here with a fire under it so that we could tip boiling water down on people. That would be friendly. And see, so this is what that other area should look like. Oh, it's sleepy Bobo's time. But we can come right the way up. We've got another room up here. I'm thinking of making one of these private quarters. Maybe for a second sun or something. And then we've got the view from the battlements. And machicolations so we can fire right down at the base of the walls. So this room, we're now on the other side of the access to the gatehouse. This is going to be basically a storeroom. You can always have more storage. Then we've got the first drawbar, the one that's right at the front. And if we come up, we've got a guard room, same as on the other side. And it has access to our murder holes. Another large room up here. And the other thing that's here is access to the wall walk and to our front corner tower here. Now, there are some more domestic things to go into the inner bailey, but it is almost finished. I have to work out how much of this has to be paved and how much of it has to remain grass or path. That's fun. I wanted that sorted out before I started today, but it didn't work. But I'm going to add these in. I don't know if there's any bees in these. We will find out. I may have to go hunting for bees. But you do actually find castles where bee skeps are kept in the inner bailey. So I thought, well, we've got them there. Oh, well, there's at least one bee. Hooray! <laughs> I can now start collecting honeycomb and honey. This is excellent. Oh, that means I can breed them. Yes, I'm happy. Now, as to the setup for this gateway, that's based on the actual gatehouse at Harlech Castle and the defences that were in that. And you also see similar defensive setup at Carnarvon and some of the others that formed Edward II's ring of stone around poor old Wales. Now, the other thing I've added in here is a little chicken coop. The chickens are generally free range, but this one's quite broody. So 
we've got that's sitting here. I'd love to go and get a coral fan to put there for nesting material. Uh, it's, it's sounding like we need to go exploring. I need some bamboo for scaffolding. I need a coral fan for you. I need a lot of string so that I can make candles. Oh, I can feel a, a Minecraft exploration episode coming up. Just a warning. <laughs> now, just before I finish up, I want to announce a competition. Because this castle needs a banner. It needs a device that's, you know, a heraldic device. And that's not the supporters either side. That's just the actual shield with whatever symbols you have on it. You know, it needs heraldic colours. It needs an heraldic device. And I was wondering if you guys would like to help me do that. There's a link in the description to my Discord. I'm going to put a channel in there called Banner Competition. And I would love to see what sort of banners you guys can come up with. Now, there's a number of conditions. I've got to be able to make it in survival, which means no more than, I think it's six steps. No ombre or colour gradation, so solid colours. If you can find out a little bit about heraldry and maybe come up with a story as to why you've chosen the particular um, symbols and patterns that you have, I'd love to see that. Good bit of research could be the swaying for me. Or I could just end up going, that's a beautiful design, I'm choosing that one. But the prize will be, who, whosoever banner I choose, that will be the banner, that will be the heraldic device and the heraldic colours for this castle. And I will put that banner throughout my castle and I will be using those colours as well. But we'll still stick with the red and blue on the Great Hall. Because that was expensive glass. You don't trash expensive glass. <laughs> so I'll leave it open for oh, two weeks to start with from the day this video comes out. We'll see how many we get. I might extend that or I might go, I'm overwhelmed. But I would love to see what you come up with. In the meantime, while I'm off gathering more resources for the Great Tower and you've got your thinking caps on for the banner, there's end cards on the screen to some more of my videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.